12-year-old Hannah here at Trinity Oaks Farms, and I am watching Daddy get ready to artificially inseminate my cow, Rizal. So, Daddy, what do you have to do to get ready? Uh, well, we selected a bull that we thought was appropriate for the cow, and it's stored in the semen tank here. And so we took the semen out of the tank, and we put it in our Cetothar. And so it can stay in there at the correct temperature between 30 seconds and 15 minutes. And then we're going to take it out and we're going to put it into our semen syringe. And then we'll take it to the cow and hopefully get her bread today. I need to go get my semen syringe. And we shall be back shortly. Goodbye. Twelve year old Hannah here again and Daddy is pulling the semen out and getting it ready to be put in the syringe. Daddy, where did you learn to do this? I went to uh, the ABS AI school. And they taught me. So what are you doing now? Right now I am inserting the salmon straw up into the syringe. And then I'm going to be sliding it down. This is a plastic sheath that goes over the syringe. And it just kind of protects everything. Like cow's ready. Okay, Beth. Give me just a moment. Why do you put it in your overalls? We want to keep it about 98 degrees. That semen tank is basically 320 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And so that you don't kill too many sperm cells, you want the semen gradually warming up to temperature. So our body temperature is 98 degrees. The cow's body temperature is right at 100. So we, we're bringing it, we've had it in a 98 degree water bath. So we're bringing it slowly up to um, the does, level that we want it. What does that do? What does what do? That. This lubrication? Yes. Uh, it just makes it easier for me to stick my hand in. What exactly are you feeling for? I'm feeling for the cervix. And what does that feel like? It feels like a chicken neck.
and start to assemble the cervix. And are you done? I'm done. Alrighty, we'll be back later.